I'm Pallavi Chirude, a cloud architect here at AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how to use HTTP archive, which is HAR file, and console logs from the browser, which can help a support engineer who is working on your support case. So let's get started. AWS support uses an HTTP archive, HAR file, from your browser to investigate or replicate networking issues. Note that the user must have a developer, business, or enterprise support plan to open a technical support case. Today, we'll be using Redshift Connection as an example to demonstrate the steps here. We'll go to AWS Management Console and navigate to the Amazon Redshift Console and open the existing Amazon Redshift cluster. In another tab, we will open AWS Secret Manager and create or use an existing secret that connects to an existing Amazon Redshift cluster. For this demo, we will use a dummy database name to generate networking issue. In the Amazon Redshift console, choose Query Data at the top right and select Query in Query Editor. Now choose Connect to the Database. Create a new connection and then Authentication, AWS Secret Manager and select the existing secret. Let's see how to use Google Chrome to generate the HAR and the log files. As you see, I'm already in the Chrome browser. In the browser, at the top right, choose Customize and Control Google Chrome. Or else, you can right-click a blank area on the page and then choose Inspect. For more tools, choose Developer Tools. Choose Network. Select Preserve Log. Choose the Clear Network Log to clear all current network requests. And then choose Record Network Log. Now on the console, give the dummy database name. Now choose Connect on the AWS Management Console. As you see, the error has happened which says database sample does not exist. In the Tape Tools panel, open the context menu on any network request and then right click. Save all the HAR with contents and then save the file. In the Tape Tools panel, choose Console. Open the context menu on any network request, right click and choose Save As and then save the file. Let's see how to use Microsoft Edge to generate the HAR and the log files. In the Edge browser, at the top right, choose Settings and More, or right-click a blank area on the page and then choose Inspect. Over here, select Network. Select the Preserve Log checkbox. Choose Clear to clear all current network requests, and then choose Record Network Log. Now choose Connect button on the AWS Management Console. In the Dave Tools panel, open the context menu on any networking request and then right click. Choose Save All as HAR with Content and then save the file. In the Dave Tools panel, choose Console. Open the context menu on any networking request and then right click and choose Save As and then save the file. Now let's see how to use Mozilla Firefox to generate the HAR and the log files. As you see, we are in Firefox browser. In the browser, at the top right, choose Open Application Menu or right-click a blank area on the page and then choose Inspect. In the Web Developer menu, choose Network. Please note that in some versions of Firefox, the Web Developer menu is in the Tools menu. Choose the gear icon and then select Persist Logs. Choose the Trash Can icon to clear all current network requests. And then choose Analyze to start performance analysis. Now choose Connect button on the AWS Management Console. In the Network Monitor, open the context menu on any network request in the request file and right click. Choose Save All as HAR and then save the file. In the Dev Tools panel, choose Console. Open the context menu on any console request. Just right click and then choose save all messages to file and then save the file. Please note that HAR files and console logs can capture sensitive information such as usernames, passwords, and keys. Before you send HAR file and console logs to AWS support, please make sure that you remove any sensitive information. 
Edit the HAR file and console logs. Open the file in Text Editor application. Use the Text Editor's Find and Replace tools to identify and replace all sensitive information in the file. Also, please make sure to remove or mask cookies and authentication headers. Please note that you can replace sensitive information with a generic string such as redacted due to security. Save the edited file and repeat these instructions for the next file. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.